44-year-old cold case finally solved in 2023. On January 3rd, 1979, in Snohomish County, Washington, a duck hunter discovered human remains entangled in a fishnet along the muddy shore. Was it a tragic accident or something more sinister? In this video, we will see what the hunter found and to whom the remains belonged. But before we jump straight into the video, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also hit the bell icon for future updates. So without any further delays, let's dive deeper into this case. January 3rd, 1979, Snohomish County, Washington. The chilly air hung over the land as a duck hunter prepared for his day in the wild. He hoped to catch a good number of ducks and fish, but fate had something else in store for him. As he ventured closer to the mud flats along the shore, his eyes widened, and in a shed in a fishnet, he found something unexpected, human remains. The discovery sent shivers down his spine, and he quickly alerted the authorities. Soon, officers arrived at the scene, confirming the hunter's eerie description. Pairs of pants, a shoe, a skull, and ribs were tangled in a fishing line. The mystery deepened as they found more clues near fallen cedar log. Snohomish County, known for its friendly community and picturesque landscapes, was not accustomed to such sinister events. It was a place where people said hello to each other and lived peaceful lives. The case perplexed investigators and the search for answers began. Search Operations the investigation into the unidentified remains presented a daunting challenge. The man had been diseased for a long time, making it difficult to find answers. The autopsy provided some information, but the case of death remained undermined. With the sparse leads, the man was labeled John Doe, 79 to 1, by the coroner. Years passed, and in 2008, Detective Jim Scharf and Judge Ken Kauser reopened the case. By 2015, they were still searching for the man's identity. Undeterred, they revisited evidence, including clothing and a wallet. The second-hand clothes suggested a potential link to the community. The police pleaded with the residents for any information, and a tip led them to a farmhand known for a severe limp. Could he be the nameless man? Hope grew, but it quickly faded when they discovered a tombstone in Yuma, Arizona, belonging to the same farmhand who died in 1981. Despite setbacks, detectives persisted, using forensic art to reconstruct the man's face and explore his heritage, leaning towards Native American or mixed ancestry. Disturbing details emerged, including jaw joint syndrome and missing teeth, indicating a life of pain and neglect. Speculations arose of him being a fisherman who met a tragic fate at sea. Although a profile was generated in 2019, the search of his identity remained elusive, with no significant breakthroughs from eyewitness sightings. Identification of the Killer Years of hope and prayers paid off when a close match was found through public genetic databases. On February 10th, 2023, Snohomish County Medical Examiner Dr. Matt Lacey identified the John Doe as Gary Lee Haney. Finally, the nameless man had a name, unraveling a new web of questions and mysteries. With Gary's identity revealed, investigators delved deeper into his past, uncovering a life marked by tragedy, loss, and hardship. Raised in a broken family, he faced numerous challenges and lacked a strong connection with his extended relatives. As the investigation progressed, suspicions arose about Gary's stepfather, Sheldon Lee Haynes. He had moved frequently and had little contact with Gary's extended family. The detectives questioned if Sheldon's involvement or something else entirely had led to Gary's disappearance. Despite the identification of Gary Lee Haney, many mysteries surrounding his life persisted. The circumstances of his death, his final days, and the neglect he suffered regarding his broken leg remain unknown. The investigators explored theories such as drowning or a fatal boat accident. The complexity deepened with forensic art and DNA suggesting Asian heritage. Gary's story continued to baffle investigators, 
driving them to relentlessly pursue the truth. The nameless man, found in Snohomish County, would forever symbolize the unwavering quest for justice and the enigmatic nature of Gary Lee Haney's life. The identification of Gary Lee Haney brought some closure to the decades-long mystery surrounding the nameless man found in Snohomish County. Yet many questions still unanswered about his life, his death, and the circumstances surrounding his disappearance. The investigation continues, driven by a determination to bring justice to Gary's memory and uncover the truth behind his tragic fate. So that brings us to the end of the video. We hope you enjoyed watching it and got to learn something new from it. If you did, then consider pressing the like button. Also share this video with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. We'll see you next time.